Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are keeping good health. So let's start with the civics part. Today we will start with our first chapter of civics that the name of the chapter is what is democracy and why democracy. In the first part we will focus on what is democracy. So to just focus on what is democracy let's see the objective of the chapter. Objective here means what we learn from this chapter. We learn about the conceptual skills of defining democracy. We will see what is the democracy all about and we will see how the historical processes means how the democracy have been shifted or have been changed from time immemorial and how we will also develop a sophisticated defense of democracy against common prejudices. There are many arguments against democracies which are not having any proof right so we'll see how democracy is the best form of government till the date and we'll also see the historical sense of the choice and nature of democracy in india how democracy have been working in that india and how it has changed after the british rule so this is basically the mind map which shows what is the chapter all about so if you have to just get an overview of the chapter you can see that this democracy chapter starts from the meaning of the uh, democracy then talking about the main features main features will tell about you the reality of the democracy what democracy is all about right then we'll study the features in focus and then we'll also talk about the arguments in against and favor and we'll also at last see about the broader meaning of the democracy Students in this video will also learn about the different questions of the chapters and different activity questions. So going into the deep of the chapter firstly we will link it with the previous chapters to know better about the democracy. How democracy in different countries have changed their scenario. How democracy have been overthrown by the military rules or any other example and how democracy was again restored in that country. Firstly we will talk about the situation of Chile. Chile was a country in South America. Earlier there was presidential rule in that country in Salvador Allende. A socialist party leader was its president and this democratic rule was overthrown by the military in 1973 and when it was overthrown the Pinochet was its leader and they ruled Chile under the military rule for long 17 years. So students see earlier there was democracy and it was overthrown by military because the democracy is all about when people elect the leader and here the people were, have not elected any leader. So with the Pinochet tried to change on the things but the people were fed up by their rule and that was again overthrown and democracy was restored and journal Alberto Bachelet was elected president of Chile and is of the country of Poland. In Poland also there was United Workers Party, it was a communist party and there was no other political party allowed to function because that situation was with the help of USSR was supported by the government of Soviet Union. So when there was the strike led by the workers, so the government has to make an agreement with the leader of that strike. The name of that leader was Leech Velesa and they have to come into an agreement that was known as 21 point agreement and the government agreed to recognize the workers right because earlier there was no recognition of the right and and, and that party was named as the Sol Solidarity Party or Trade Union we can say and the government was also led by the general which was overthrown by the Solidarity Party and democracy was restored and the Polish in the Polish government was again turned on to a democratic government and the Leech Velisa which we have, who were the Solidarity Trade Union leader was elected as the president of Poland. We will talk about now about the difference between democratic and non-democratic. In democratic, democracy is the best form of government as the rulers are accountable to the people means they are answerable. Like you can take any example, if you have any problem, you can talk to your leaders and they are answerable to you all. Like the RTI, Right to Information Act. If you want any information from the government department, you can put an RTI and you can get the information. Secondly, in democratic government, people elect their rulers and have right in decision making. You can say that you elect from the ground level. In villages you elect your sarpanch, 
in the town side you elect your councillors mlas and mp and they'll work according to your needs and third is the parliament is a separate body is, and has no interference of army right in the decision of the parliament no one has having say in their decision secondly talking about the non democratic the rulers are not accountable to the people and their needs you can take the example of the military rules or the dictatorship the leaders are not responsible they don't listen to anyone they rule according to their wish secondly people don't elect their rulers and have no right in decision right if they are not accountable they are not elected how they look to your decision thirdly the parliament cannot pass a law about the army without the consent of the chief of the army if army is heading the government so you have to take the permission and the parliament cannot work according to the rule of military is higher and they have the higher power in it talk then the page 23 now moving on to the next page is the page 24 here there is a discussion with the students and their teacher they all are saying that why we are moving to the definition of the democracy in the second chapter rather than studying the definition first and then going out to the deeper things here the teacher is saying that we need the definition of the thing at that time when we are not able to understand right the time we know don't have any difficulty we don't need the definition so here we'll have different situations of democracy right so we need the definition here so there is one questions in the activity part and there is one question in the side part also where the girl is asking a question firstly we'll answer the question of that girl which is asking that and the answer is in some cases the democracy is of the people for the people and by the people that is where the democracy does not belong to the people it's not for them but far away from them where the democracy is not by the people but the candidates the votes with the money which means that true democracy does not exist means the democracy becomes the puppet of the rich people and secondly the activity part question is also explained here where they have from that conversation we learned that there is no shortage to our thinking about the matter ourselves we have to think about its meaning and evolve our definition and each and everything has some specific features on the basis of which we can define that thing and we need a definition only as we have already talked about that when we come across a difficulty to use that word here we were feeling difficulty in and for the chapter also we will see different scope we will see different spheres of democracy so we are here discussing about the definition and uh, the basic definition as abraham lincoln said that the democracy is rule of the people for the people and by the people and we must not accept the definition mean there is a different scope of definition in the situation to the different countries and it vary from different countries to countries coming to the main topic of the chapter which is talking about the democracy so going to the democracy i'll just give you an overview of different forms of the government so you can better link it with the democracy there are the different type forms of government like first is the monarchy that's popular to you known as the king rule right in that the hereditary rule is there hereditary rule here means that if there is a king next king will be his son and then the family lineage will go on secondly the dictatorship dictatorship is when a single person is ruling the country for example you all must be knowing about the hitler right he was only ruling the germany what he wants it was done third is the military rule there will be an example in the further chapter also military rule is when the military commander of any country takes upon the democracy or takes upon the government and he runs accordingly in these three there is no leader or ruler elected by the people so as we already talked the democracy is the best form of the government because why you can see from the word itself demo means people and kratos means power or rule means the main power the main power holder are the people itself how the people itself because they are electing the people they know whom they are electing right so that makes the democracy more powerful and secondly the basic definition of democracy is democracy is the government of the people by the people and for the people here the people word i am stressing because this word democracy the form of government is totally moving around the people because people are having people means here means we citizens of the country we are having the most important say in that making the form of government moving on students we'll see the check your progress students i have given the answer and you should also look to the answers after reading the page secondly the picture question we'll see you can see that democracy is holding by some people and they are holding also gun this cartoon is also saying that the democracy is being established in iraq with the help of us military power so why us is helping because democracy 
is being ridiculed means it's making fun here because democracy is restored over there in iraq by the us because of their own interest right about democracy democracy is all about the election process why because in other forms of the government there is no election leaders come upon their own right in democracy there the election is mean how election that we'll talk about universal adult franchise as you have talked in your previous classes on the universal adult franchise that say that the person who are above 18 years of the age they can vote and they can choose their leader so here democracy the basic definition again comes that the democracy is a form of government in which rulers are elected by the people itself so how we can know about the democracy the true nature the true scope the true picture of the democracy is we'll study we'll focus upon the features of democracy means feature here means what are the important points that make a democracy what are the important things that make a democracy so here you can see that in the page also when we are i have marked one is the first major thing that we'll talk about what are the main feature what is the important feature is the major decisions are taken by the leaders right elected leaders see here elected leaders so elected leaders here says that the people who have elected the leaders the major decisions the major talks major laws are made by that elected persons only right we will talk about the example of the country of pakistan students as we know that the pakistan in pakistan in 1919 general pervez musharraf he led a military coup in october and he has overthrown the democratic government of pakistan and it called it was called as chief executive means chief executive here means the ruler of the pakistan here the main thing to focus is the feature was talking about elected leaders here general pervez musharraf was not elected he himself came out of the military and declared him as the chief executive the ruler of the pakistan so in 2002 he passed an referendum a referendum here means a change a law to give him an extension to give him an extension means he has said that for next 5 year also he'll rule right he has not been elected like modi government they won the election and they were extended for 5 years right he was not elected and he was taking decision on his own and he took all the legal framework all important laws under his sanction only that if he will allow then only anything will be done in that country and he declared himself as the president and chief executive word was turned into a president and when these things were not working properly was not elected by the people here you can say that it's not true democracy because the main thing the main feature here is to elect the leader and he was not elected by the people of pakistan student as you can see that there is a cartoon on page 26 so we'll discuss that answer also you can see the clearly the cartoon and read the question it's talking about the syria and the answer is that it can be applied to the other countries like china yes this cartoon could be applied to china because there is one party rule in china we'll talk about china in a further then you will be easy to relate that question any government has to take or any party has to take part in election they have to take permission from the chinese communist communist party that means the democracy is in the hands of one party only that's not true democracy and in mexico also there is a multi party system but the other parties are not allowed to come forward so here also the true democracy is not working so crown of leaves means a circle of leaves that is worn by somebody's head as a sign of victory and the cartoon signifies that democracy has won in some of the countries of the world but it's not accepted by the all means there is always a loophole which comes with the democracy on the second feature of the democracy which is saying that free and fair election means the election should be free and fair means transparent there should be no corruption right